All right, all right. Welcome back. Now it's about to get hard because we're almost 100% done with this game. Uh, we got one more level and then probably the last boss, the last uh, sock one from Patrick and the last money one from Mr. Krabs, and then we'll be good. <clears throat> um, I will tell you, the next section um, doesn't like you. Um, they save the best for last. Yeah! Which makes sense. Um, I have played a little bit because, again, there's... I tried to do it blind, and it was ugly. Um, we're past that point of the game. I will say bosses, though, for blind, because those are fun. And people seem to enjoy watching people die at bosses. So the last level was actually right here in the middle of the circles. With sleep comes dreams. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Good wow. idea. Thanks, Gary. It does oh, make no. you look more rugged, doesn't it? No. Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow. Meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready! But are you, though? Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. He just cares for you. Alright, so first things first. Make sure you grab that. I'm going to take him out so he doesn't bug me. Hey, you're going to blow up. Because I need a lot of um, money. Okay. So first things first. You need to take this guy out. Because if you don't, when you get to the top, he's, it's, it's almost impossible to get through with the puzzle. He's that much of a pain. Alright, so if you've played Mario 64, or I think Paper Mario had them too, or a lot of other scrollers, you've seen these kind of puzzles. Um, adding the spikes to the top is a little mean. But I'm okay with it, I like it. For end game. Oh, I can't believe I made that. Okay, so stay on this one. This one does not turn, so take your time. Jump on the middle one and jump across. Now, if you die, you'll start here. Now to get... This one is a bigger pain in the butt than you would think, but I think I've mastered it. Stand on the third section of the fourth bamboo thing. Oh! Ah, I missed it. Well, you get the idea. Don't die. Because if you die, you're going to probably start at the bottom. Because it's close enough to the bottom to count. And you'll have to go through that whole law, whole rotating cube puzzle again. Let me try it right here. Let's see, where are we? Okay, that's perfect. I hit the wrong button. That helps. Not at all. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Okay. We got this. Okay. Well, that wasn't. I don't know what happened there. This thing is harder than it looks. Like, it, it looks very simple, but it, it's not. Um, it doesn't kill you, it's just annoying. It's not the hardest puzzle. I mean, you've seen me do much harder than this. 
the iron ball and the slides and um, we got a slide coming up in at least one of these nightmares. I don't know if they're all of them. I haven't. I've only gotten as far, well, as the first real nightmare. I hit. I did it again. I did it again. I gotta make sure I land before I hit. It's not even the right button. So that's just stupid of me. Okay, got it. That should be perfect. And it wasn't. I'm not sure why I missed it that time. I did everything right. I think I need to be more centered. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, it's in the center. So I just need to be in the center. I'm sorry. I'm probably not going to edit this. I want to emphasize how difficult this is. says you can double jump off this thing, but I don't believe it. All right, we got it. That's one down. Whew. That's only six minutes in. Let's keep going. This slide doesn't count. There's nothing special about this slide except for it makes you slide. Okay, I'm going to take this guy out over here. That was fun to watch. I don't care what anyone says. That was fun to watch. Um, so you want 2,700 of these items before you go inside. You just met the Spongenator. Uh, or, well, maybe not before, but you definitely want to be able to have that many. Okay, so we're at 2,541. Do your 2661. Do yourself a favor. Do not spend on that. That will be later. Let's go into Sandy's dream. This is a nightmare. Just letting you know. This this place is an insanity. Twenty eight hundred is what you. My wow. bad. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing the four-lane highway. I believe her. All right. So first things first. Same thing. Make sure you get that. And then you're going to switch over to SpongeBob for Uno for just one moment. All right. Because you're going to sneak. The only way to get this purple one is to sneak. Alright. You can jump while sneaking. Okay. Got it. Now for fun. There's nothing like a smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Okay. So now we're gonna go on the slide. Oh well, you need Sandy. Perfect. Because, and this is slide is a little bit easier than the one in the fern forest, um, but it's also a lot longer. Oh, that's a terrible start. All right. Whoops a daisy. All right. Bam! 
And when you land in here, this is still a slide. Okay, I did this last time. You can survive it, even though it says you can't. Oh my, come on. I'm gonna die this time. Yep, alright, I'm fine with it. That was terrible. Happened to me last time, too, though. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. I actually find that first part very difficult. Oh, I thought the cloud was solid. My apologies. I'm doing terrible and I apologize. All right, man, I still got like five sections of that whole thing to go. First sharp turn is a nightmare for me. I don't know why. Because I can't see it, maybe? Every single time. Okay, if I mess up again, I'll edit it until I get the right one. Did I do it again? Well, I'll see you in a second. Really? Weird, I did this on my first try the first time I did this. Like, I fell off, like, maybe twice. It wasn't this bad. I'm doing worse than the blind run-through, which is crazy. Ooh, that was close. All right, so go left. Okay. You want to slow down around here, because this turn right here is harder than it looks. All right. Okay, here we go. So once you get over here, go ahead and jump off. Yep. That's a finally. Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels, we're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. Well, the luck you that I'm having. Sleep. Good point. So she's not wrong. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. Awesome. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. That doesn't sound fun. All right. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? Okay. So this is not as hard as they paint it, although it's not fun. Um, The first jump... me. Excuse my cussing. So over here, go ahead and float and make sure you get this one. And you want to focus because you want to take out that the thing that's creating these bad guys. I'm All right, here we go. Just watching. Ooh. 
When you drop down, punch that thing. Get away from it. Now. Gotcha. Rats for messing with Texas. Someone better make good use of all these. Is that all of them? All right. So we got our first spatula in her level. And that's not all. So remember, we need a thousand items before we leave this area. So make sure you destroy all of these. Do I need life? No. Nope. And the exit's over there. See the springboard? Yep. But we're not going to go to the exit. There's something else here. Behind what's supposed to be the Alamo. Yep. This is our first sock of this dream, of this entire dream so far. Don't worry, we're going to get two more before we leave here. Two of five. Um, and I think that's the rest of them in the game. Because once we get all five of them in this area, we can go ahead and go to Patrick and get our thingy. Alright, we're going to go ahead and bounce. It does not put us back on the jump, because it's not nice like that. So you're going to jump back on here. Now we're looking for another jump here. Um, and I'll show you it. That one right there. Make sure you make this jump. Okay, follow this one all the way to the end. There is a jump and a swing. It's a quick swing, so... And guess what? I missed it. All right, so let's see. Where can I go? Good news, you can drop down here and try again. I think we want to be on this side. Nope, we want to be on that side. Okay. Hey, we're going to make it work. <laughs> All right. Round two. I actually hit it. I just let go of the button. All right, here we go. Try number two. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, now we gotta survive this slide, which is harder than it looks. It's not that hard. It's more of not getting hit by all of these. And then we got our sock. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. So we're going to have some really bad, weird bad guys because, I mean, why not? It's a nightmare. Or a dream. It's a dream for them, nightmare for us. These things throw pies. Usually behind you, but sometimes it'll be in front of you, so you got plenty of time to dodge. I don't want to jinx myself, but I have not been hit by them yet. Jump over that. Alright, beat these things up. And there's another sock. Happy. Okay. I'm All right. Better. I think that's it for this area. I think, um, yeah, I think this is it. We just gotta survive the last section of this and get the last um, springboard. So we got one more checkpoint. This this part of the slide is so small. And it get, seems to be getting smaller, but it might just be because we're turning and it's hard to focus on it. Hope this doesn't make anybody dizzy, but I can't control this game. It does what it does. Alright. And inside we go. We're doing good. Come on, we got this. That's a big pile of manure down there. Oh. Ow, that hurt. I don't care. Let's go. So the next part is supposed to... It, it, there's a lot going on in this next part. Honestly, I don't find it that difficult, but... it's. I've been having difficulties on this, so I'm going to shut up. Okay. 
Okay. All right. And... And we got it. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So to get out of here, you need to switch back to Mr. Spongebob. And I almost got stuck behind him. That would have been weird. And then you're going to go ahead and hit this thing. Strike. Yep. It's going to bring down the... Texas Star, which will go up and lead you to the exit. Okay. So where are we standing? With three of five, and we've got three of eight. Alright, so this is a fun puzzle. Kind of. So it's a new spike puzzle. I don't find this one as difficult as the last one. Okay, so, nope, you're going to want to go to this one first. Make sure you land on top and you'll get this one. Okay. And I don't think we have a thousand. No, we do not. So we're going to go into Spongebob. Um, or not Spongebob, but Squidward's Dream on our next... Run around. So until next time, adios, amigos.